Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming this super highly requested video. You guys all requested for me to show you guys how I did my own acrylic nails at home. There's two reasons why I wanted to start doing them at home and not go to a professional place anymore. One, because acrylic nails can be really, really expensive. It can be anywhere from like 40 to like a hundred dollars. It's literally insane. And two, it takes like almost two hours every time I go get my nails done. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I just don't like getting my nails done. It costs too much, takes too long, and then eventually you're just gonna have to go and get a fill like two weeks later, so it's like not worth it, you know what I mean? Like it's just so, it's just so much work like maintaining them. So I just started doing my own acrylic nails at home, and it's literally under $30. I don't even want to film this video because it's so easy. I mean, you guys are gonna watch and be like, that's it, like what? because it's so easy. It probably takes me like anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes to do. It's so easy. And I feel like anybody can do it. By the way, I don't have them on right now because I haven't filmed it yet. This is just my intro and I know I look like a hot mess. I got my scrunchie on, messy bun, sweater, barely any makeup. It's just because I was out running some errands before. So disregard my hair, you guys. This video is not about my appearance. This is just my intro, right? The rest of the video is gonna be all about these. Also, I feel like it's just better because you know what you like and like sometimes when you show your nail tech like the shape you want, they like don't get it right. But, like if you're doing it yourself, you know exactly what you like, how you want it, and you can just kind of like customize it, you know? This is gonna be kind of like a basic nail video, like just nail polish, not like chrome or diamonds or glitter or anything, okay? I'm not that good. <laughs> if you guys wanna see how I do my own acrylic nails at home under $30, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I didn't feel like doing a voiceover, so I'm just gonna talk and yeah. This is very amateur, but you guys requested it, so let's get it. So my hands look like little freaking sausages right now, you guys. I hate how my hands look without acrylics. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So also this is in no way like professional at all. What I'm doing is just like what I do. I'm not saying this is like the right way to do it, but it works for me. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So I use these little like nail things. So I got these off Amazon um, and I ordered them online. And literally, let me just show you guys. These are like literal acrylic nails. Like they're not like those crappy ones that you buy at like the drugstore or something um where it's like those like little short ones you know what i mean you guys know what i'm talking about it's not those these are like long and they're literally straight up like acrylic nails so it comes in like all these here let me dump it out so it comes with like 500 nails and like all different sizes and they're like number them let me show you okay so yeah it has like all these little numbers and basically it's just this little baggy sorry the light is like reflecting weird it's like this little baggie and it comes with like every like individual nail. This is what I said when I said it was so easy. Like literally I just went on Amazon, looked up acrylic nails and this came up. And literally it's just like a little acrylic nail. It's like clear and yeah, you literally just <laughs> glue it on and paint it and that's literally it. But yeah, that's why I said this video was not even worth filming because it's so easy. Okay, it's just like these little acrylic nails. It comes in like all different sizes. The first thing I do is i just pick out which sizes i am for like each nail so yeah by the way i'll have everything that i used linked down below um everything i got was off amazon but yeah i'm just taking the nail and then like matching up to see what will fit so yeah i'm using number eight for my pinkies and then for my glue i use this kiss maximum speed nail glue to like glue them on this is like the best nail glue you can buy you can buy it at the drugstore and yeah i just glue it down spread it around i put a lot on because i have a curse where literally all my nails <laughs> break off yeah this nail glue is super super strong so honestly you don't need a lot and then i'm just like gluing it on and pressing it down these are also like the perfect size if you guys like super long like acrylics like me it's basically the same process for all my nails i just match up the size to whichever finger i'm doing glue it on and yeah and then i'll do like the shaping afterwards so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and speed this up for you guys so it's not too boring or too long
Okay, so once all of the like clear acrylics are on, I'm gonna move on to filing them because they have like these weird little, let me show you like little tips to them. You probably cannot see it on camera, but like right at the top, there's like this little bit that kind of sticks out and it's really annoying. So I'm just gonna file that off. And I'm also just gonna sharpen the top because I like really sharp nails. And these come in like the perfect size, you guys. I love the size, so I don't even trim it. Um, but obviously, if you guys want shorter nails, I know not everyone wants nails this long. I'll link this down below too. It's like this little nail cutter that you can use for acrylics. It cuts through them really easily. You don't have to use like a nail clip or anything. I prefer longer nails because I like being extra, you know. And these come in already like a coffin shape. I know there are other... Um, sellers on eBay you can buy like literally like stiletto shapes almond shapes like whatever you want literally Amazon has it and I'm pretty sure this brand has it too but I'm just doing my nails in like the classic coffin shape because that's what I prefer you guys I file my nails so weirdly <laughs> it's actually a joke okay so now that the shape and the acrylics are on you guys can move on to painting and I think I'm just gonna do I don't know which one I want to do. I either want to do like a pink or this gray one. I also have white. I think I might do white. I'm feeling white nails right now. So yeah, I think I'm going to do white. This is the OPI nail polish in the shade Alpine Snow. I always use this one on my toes. Um, I love white nails. I think it looks so clean and like pretty. But I always start off with my left hand, you guys. I'm actually, um, what's the word? Oh, fuck, what's the word when you can use both hands to do stuff? Oh my god, I literally have no idea what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Dad, I was gonna look up what it's called. Okay. Ambidextrous. Okay, it's called ambidextrous. I'm ambidextrous so I can paint my left hand really easily, but if you guys can't, you can obviously, like, ask one of your friends to do it for you. But I'm actually pretty good at painting my own nails because I am ambidextrous and I can do my right hand pretty easily i'm like nervous right now i don't know why i feel like because i'm filming it has to be like so perfect and it's like dead ass shaking right now this is a problem i feel like because the nails are so long it makes painting them so much easier i don't know why yeah, i'm just gonna paint all my nails and i will be right back i'm gonna do my right hand first and then take a break to let this dry before i move on to my left hand so i'm just gonna speed up this process Oh my god, it's not stopping me. Okay, so I just finished up this hand. It's not perfect, but I did use my left hand to do this. So I think it's good enough, but I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with a clear top coat and then do it this hand too. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my top coat with just some clear nail polish. This um, white nail polish is actually really, really pigmented. So I don't go in with two layers. I just do one and that's enough for me. Yeah, I'm just using this OPI top coat right here. This is my favorite just because it dries really fast so you don't have to like spend so much time waiting for it to dry. Now that is all done, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process on this hand. I'm literally obsessed with this. I just have to clean up around the edges of this with some makeup remover and then they will look perfect. And again, I'll have everything that I used linked down below, so go check that out. And make sure to let me know if you guys liked this video or found it helpful. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up down below and comment if you guys found this video helpful or if you guys want to try out this technique. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh my god, these hand motions are actually a joke. Okay, bye.